Hey there guys, my name is Marcus and in this video I'm going to compare one password with a dash lane. The first thing I'm going to compare are pricing plans, then I will go to main features and some advantages and disadvantages I personally see. Now, both of these tools are great. If you're going to choose one password or dash lane, you're not going to make a mistake. But personally, there are some differences I personally see. So, yeah. Now, the first difference before we start on a pricing plan is that one password offers you secret key. So this is like the emergency kit when you mm, lose your or something happens, you just have the secret key and that's your guidance to everything. So when you lost everything, when you got hacked or whatever, you just use the secret key and you're back on the track. So even uh, like it's like master password, but upgraded master password. And you just write here master password and you just print the document. Now let's go to the price. So this is the advantage because uh, like Dashlane doesn't have it. They are both secured by the... Mm, like the encryption, they're both safe. So this is like top notch on the market. Now, when we could could talk about like the pricing plan, Dashlane offers you free account. So Dashlane is winning in this department. You can see it here up to 50 password, but you have only one device. So you can't use it for phone, only on like PC. Form, payment, autofill, okay. Share up to five accounts, two factor, and plus the, plus the day free for day trial of premium. On a one password, you have only, let me show you, 14 day free trial so 299 and then you have to pay 299 and this is like really up to which one you want but from, from my perspective i recommend like testing both and then just like closing account and choosing which one you like more now you can see right here 299 but bill annually so that's another disadvantage coming comparing to dashlane because yes you have free 399 and it's more expensive comparing to one password because the dashlane costs 399 and one password costs 299 but you paid monthly not yearly so even when you start paying you can see that okay i don't actually want it you start you stop paying but in one password it costs 299 but you have to pay a year and when you're gonna pay like i don't know per year in dashlane it's still um expensive so i would go definitely with the monthly billing and then you get the family and again, that's also cheaper. And Dashlane is dominating, I think, only because it's cheaper. Uh, I mean, it's more expensive, but it's on monthly basis. So in that way, in my eyes, it's a win for Dashlane. So anyway, up to five other people, manage members and billing. And let's just look right now on how it actually feels to use them. So this is like really subjective. In my opinion, one password is better. And I'm not paid by one password in Dashlane. Again, I say that. So when I would go to one password, I got everything here like favorites, watchtower, logins, secure notes. I can simply in all times, all items, click plus here and add a, let me just zoom in. Secure note, credit card, identity, password, and literally edit everything like wireless router here, passport, whatever. In dash lane, you got password, secure notes, personal info, payments, pa password health, dark web monitoring. You have it also in the watchtower right here. In one password, the compromised webs are reused passwords. They're like helpful if someone compromise your something in your account. And then you're gonna have like password here. And you just add here the email, you just add here the password and the site. And what I'm going to do is when I go to Facebook, it automatically adds. See? Really simple. And this is this is the completely same way with one password. Like, that's why these comparisons are really hard, because these tools are just great for using. And, yeah, the one thing that you have also in one password is, like, the travel zone. Um, this is, like, the advantage. But there are some disadvantage. What I want to talk to you about is that on both of these apps, um, like, sometimes it's bugging out the Chrome extension. So this is something to think about, that you should definitely check out, like, Bitwarden or something. So, yeah. Thank you very much everybody for watching. If you have any questions guys, ask me down in the comments. I'll be really happy to help you. Have a great day and goodbye. See ya. Peace. And the winner is, I don't know. Abidamas, I don't know. They are both good. Choose buy or sell based on this video. See ya.